I was actually introduced uh, to Kuniyoshi via my father, who had studied with Kuniyoshi um, uh, a few years earlier at the New School in New York City. There was an arrangement made for me to go to uh, Woodstock, to the Art Students League there where Kuniyoshi was during the summers. Quickly, uh, a, a strong mentor-student um, relationship developed and uh, we became, as, I think, as close as it was possible for a mentor and student to be during that time. He had been searching for several years via a number of mediums for a higher keyed palette. Raymond Shiva and his brother in New York had developed colors that were very consistent with what Kuniyoshi was looking for. They were the Ponsol oil colors. Ponsol allowed for very high keyed layering of colors. Kuniyoshi was always very concerned about layers of everything consistent with layers of meaning between um, the ostensible subject matter of the painting and what might be the actual content and was very involved with the way a song would get sung. That was his expression. Everyone has a song, but it's a question of how you sing it. And those colors, those transparent glazing colors in that key enabled a shift into a different level of abstraction than he was able to get with a normal palette. <laughs> There's been so much conjecture about Mr. Race. Mr. Race is it's an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, vital painting. It has, has a history, and whatever its many layers of meaning may be, statement-wise, Kuniyoshi loved to go to the movies. He loved movies. There was a movie uh, titled Mr. Ace, which he did see, which occurred in 1946, a few years after marital issues at home. And there was a reconciliation. Well, Mr. Ace is related to that kind of social choreography or social interaction. Two people who really loved each other and didn't realize how much they loved each other until finally events drew them back together again and, and they confessed to each other how much they loved each other and there was a reconciliation. He was drinking and smoking a lot and he was beginning to not feel well uh, in, in the early 50s. Uh, there was something wrong and he wasn't paying attention to it. At the end, when, when uh, Kuniyoshi was hospitalized, the Japanese were still being held away from citizenship. What Sarah has told me, he said, you hold on to this till after I'm gone. Uh, Kuniyoshi, through, the, through, through all of the drugs and everything that the, that the hospital had administered, he was suffering terribly, um, had asked her, um, have, I, have I gotten my citizenship yet? He desperately wanted American citizenship. She told Kuniyoshi that he did. She felt he should have that. And then she exited the room. When she came back, he, was, he, was, he had passed away. So that was the last thing, apparently, that he heard from anybody, was that he had gained his American citizenship.